Hey there, Black Hollywood Live. We're here with Max from the Terra. Now, we're going to season two at this point, but for our viewers that haven't seen it yet, can you tell us a little bit more about the Terra Infamy? Yeah, the Terra Infamy, uh, season two of the Terror is an, the Terror itself is an anthology show. So every season takes a historical moment uh, and applies like a genre lens to it, usually a horror lens. So in our case, we decided to tell a story about the Japanese American internment during World War II uh, and do our best to tell that story honestly and authentically to the period while at the same time using it as a, uh, or seeing it through the prism of this, this Japanese style horror show. Uh, so that's that's the film, uh, the, the show. It's I wouldn't want to spoil any more, but it's. What did you do exactly to get in there historically to get all those those niche things that people maybe that are still living from that time could be like, oh, I totally relate to that to that moment. Well, I mean, I credit tremendously the showrunner Alex Wu. He uh, I, he and I created it together, and he uh, brought George Takei in, who had been inspiration to me initially when I first sort of conceived of the idea because I had heard him speak about his own experiences growing up in tournament camp uh, when and uh, and so Alex sought him out brought him into the fold and he became both an actor in the show and a consultant uh, and he was able to tell them things about like the plates that didn't look like that and the, you know it was yeah which is really where you know the that sort of visceral sense of the truth kind of comes from writer when you're writing these stories can you actually visualize the characters or are you kind of well, you know what what do you do when you start attacking a script uh, well there are many different ways but I it always has to start with who the characters are and what they're who they are as people uh, how they're gonna grow and change uh, and what the conflicts are that they're dealing with conflict is always the winner right Always. <laughs> That's what keeps us going back, coming back more for more and more of the drama, right? So um, at home, when you're not writing, when you're just totally at ease, what is your top three favorite TV shows? Well, I'm never totally at ease and not writing. Uh, my top three favorite TV shows. Uh, I love Succession right now. I love The uh, Patriot on Amazon, which t tragically few people have watched, but is one of my favorite things of all time. Uh, well, number well of all time, I, oh, like The Sopranos probably. Mafia cult classic. It's definitely a classic, yeah. Now, when you were growing up, what was somebody that just really inspired you to just get there, get your pen and pad out, and just start doing, to kind of formulating to you to who you are now? Uh, as a as a young person. I mean, I think I just fell in love with film uh, and and uh, storytelling, and so uh, I kind of followed that path, and it led me to, you know, wanting to make movies. And if you want to make movies and tell stories, and someone has to come up with the stories, and that was sort of the beginning of it. We're definitely at the Writers Guild Awards. You guys are very important, just as important as the actors, if not more, in my opinion. Uh, congratulations for your nomination a little later, and we can't wait to, you know, I'm pulling for you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.